Let's get my necklace straightened out. This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Hi everyone, how is everyone doing today? I know I haven't been on uh, filming for the last couple of weeks because I have been traveling for the past couple of weeks. Uh, I am part of a very large implementation and the system that I am working on went live. And so I came home for a weekend and then immediately pretty much turned around and left again. So that is why I was not able to upload anything and I've honestly been completely exhausted. I, to be honest with you today, am still exhausted and really, really had to push myself to do this video. Um, not because I don't want to, but just because I'm so exhausted. Uh, so that's why I've been absent for the past couple of weeks. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Shanti and I mostly put out videos every week uh, as long as I can do that. Uh, and on this channel, we mostly talk about bags. I try to talk about other things, but I'm not sure you guys kind of like that. It would be nice if you uh, give me some feedback on that below. And let's see what's been going on. I got a haircut and if you are wondering if my hair looks different, it does look different. Uh, so I got a haircut, I cut it off again, um, just because I was not feeling great. Um, I am really struggling in a lot of areas with my health and just mentally, emotionally, and I needed a break and a change and so I decided to cut my hair again. And I also decided to put some low lights in my hair. Uh, I really wanted to put the low lights only on the side, but the person that did it decided that they were gonna put some on the top. I do not have anything in the back. That is all still natural, but I did end up getting some low lights. So if you're wondering like, why does my hair look different? That's why. Um, after I did it, I was, wondering if I made the right choice. Um, I liked it, but then I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it's a change. Uh, and you know what? It's a woman's prerogative to change their mind when they want to. So here I am. Anyway. So today I wanted to do a review of the Juliet wallet, which I bought last year in January of 2023. It's been about a year and a few months, right? It's April now. Uh, and I thought it would be a good time to do a review and kind of a wear and tear update on how I have found the Juliet wallet to be. I have not worn this in the last several weeks because I've been using my Chanel walk like constantly. Haven't really changed out of it. I also traveled with that as well. So I did not use this wallet, but I, to be honest with you, most of the year I used this wallet. So I thought this would be a good time. If you're interested in hearing about how the Juliet wallet did, then keep watching. All right, so we should do like a quick review, like what's going on on this thing, uh, so you guys can understand kind of the setup of the Juliet wallet. So in the front, you have a snap closure with the beautiful LV in the front. You have a pocket on the front and on the button it says Louis Vuitton. You can put cards in here. This particular wallet is made in Italy. So you have the stamp here. You have one, two, three, four card slots here, which I have typically doubled up with. You have a slip pocket here. You do not have a slip pocket here, but what you have is this coin, like a coin, it's literally like a zippy coin purse. So you open it 
and it's an accordion style in there as well. You have the beautiful gold shiny hardware there. So you have one piece of canvas that it's constructed with and then you have the monogram portion here. You have the monogram portion on the inside. And as you can see, it is monogram and black, which is typically what the monogram reverse brings you. So no Vachetta to worry about, which is really nice. Then the part that I bought this wallet for, you have a slot for cash to put that straight in. So that's just the tour of the wallet itself. All right, so I am gonna go get some cards so you guys kind of figure out how many cards you can put in here. So this is the wallet on Jane that I have been wearing like a nonstop. I'm going to take the cards out of here and transfer it into the Juliet wallet to see how much it fits. So I've got several cards here. I'm gonna count them off camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna take these seven cards and I'm gonna put them into the accordion. Fits, no problem. I'm gonna take another one, two, three, four, and some other just random cards and put them in there as well. I still have plenty of space to put in there, but I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna get my kind of most used cards and important cards here. Okay, so I've put some of my most used cards here. I have also doubled up, so these have softened over time. So that does happen if you kind of stick more cards in there. When you first get this, it's kind of tight, but then as you continue to use this, it does loosen up. I am now gonna put some cash in the cash compartment here. Okay, so I have cash now in here with no problem. And it definitely feels fuller. I'm gonna close it up. No issues, no bulging. I could put tons more cards in here to be honest uh, because this in the middle is literally like a zippy coin purse, which is one of the reasons I bought this. Okay, so I am fighting the sun. Sun, <laughs> no sun. <laughs> so I'm gonna, gotta hurry up here. Okay, so I'm gonna see how many cards I can fit in the front without it being an issue. Honestly, I put in two cards in the front and it's totally, totally fine. I think it would have been smarter for them to put the pocket in the back versus in the front so that you didn't have to unsnap the button to get in. But for, I think, design purposes, they put it in the front because this this big, beautiful flower you've got in the front. So design over function there. Um, I mean, it still works, but you have to unsnap to get to it. So this wallet actually fits, and I have fit way more cards. I'm gonna stuff a few more cards in here so you can see what I mean. I mean, it fits quite a bit. I'm gonna just stuff them in here. Let's see what happens. All right, look, I've got a big amount here and I'm going to see if I can close this. It zips without any issues and then I can snap it without any problems. So that's where we are with that. Let's talk about the wear and tear on the Juliet wallet. So that is where I'm going to not give it such a high score. I am disappointed here um, and I'll show you why. It's not horrible, but it could have been way better. The snap closure has done fairly well. There's not a, a whole lot of scratching on here. Um, you can see that the leather is just, you know, worn, but it's, it's nothing terrible. 
I'm okay with this. This looks pretty good. The canvas on the front and on the back honestly looks at brand spanking new. Same thing on the inside. The interior looks very, very good. By the way, you can put more cards there as well, which I didn't even do. So uh, this, this holds a lot. This holds a lot of cards and your cash and your coins, which is the great thing about it. So the interior honestly looks really good. The place where I am having some issues, and I'm gonna show you as much as I can. Okay, if you can see here, it's almost like I've got something, like something is coming loose here. I don't know if it's the glazing. The glazing is intact, but it's almost like pulling like a glue almost. I'm not really sure what this is, but it looks like a glue is starting to come off. I don't know. For the most part, it looks okay. Here's the glazing on the front part. You can see here, you can see it more where it looks like, again, it, I don't know. I think it's the glazing that is coming up. The, the glazing on the actual edge appears to be okay, but then when you look at it in the corner, it seems to have some kind of a problem. But all of this seems good. Like, it's, I don't have cracking or anything like that, but it's at these weird corners that I seem to be having an issue. I think you can see that. The, the actual stitching that's going all the way around looks very, very good. Again, the canvas looks brand new. I have no issues with the canvas. It really, really is holding up very, very well. Uh, but yeah, I'm disappointed on the corners of this. It's not enough for me to take it in or bother me right now because like I said, the actual glazing looks fine. It There's no cracking or anything. It's just on those weird corners that I'm having. And I don't know if that's because the wallet is rubbing when it's inside the bag. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Yeah, but other than that, it looks good. So the wear areas are gonna be, you know, obviously the snap closure, which I currently, I don't have an issue. And then opening this all the time, which I have no cracking on either side of the canvas or on the glazing. So honestly, right, that looks good. You're gonna have typically wear on the zipper pull because you're doing this time and time again, but it's held up very well. So no issues there. The other thing that I just wanted to talk about, because I did go on the Louis Vuitton website. So I purchased this wallet. It is one of the most expensive wallets. Uh, and I think it's because it has all these components, right? It's like a zippy wallet. It's got the zip. It's got this button closure. It's got leather and canvas. So they priced this wallet pretty high. So the Juliet wallet currently retails for $865. And I went on the website just to see what other wallets, if you were looking for a reverse monogram wallet, what other options do you have? So there is an Emily wallet, which I don't have, but I would love to have an Emily wallet in my collection. They have a Clemence wallet. There is a Zippy wallet, so full size zippy wallet. And there is a Rosalie coin purse. There's a Victorine. There is the Recto Verso card holder. And then the Rami card, and then the Rami card holder, which is newer. And if you're just looking for a card holder, there is a reverse monogram as well. So 
There are other options out there that are definitely cheaper than the Juliet wallet. The Rami card holder, I would say, is the least expensive. It is $415. Uh, I'm pretty sure you cannot lay out your cash flat in there. Um, the Victorine wallet, I know you can lay your uh, cash flat in there. That is six hundred and forty-five dollars. Uh, the Zippy wallet and the Clemence wallet, both and Emily, all you can lay your uh, cash flat in there. The Clemence wallet, which I have in monogram, is a good option. It's a good kind of thin, long wallet if you don't want to fold. If you just want to zip, it's a good one. Um, yeah, and some of these other ones that are available really are for cards more so. I, you can fold your cash, right? But um, yeah, as far as traveling, I when I travel, I have to keep a lot of my receipts. Uh, and so this is not the best wallet for me for travel. I personally like long wallets for travel because I can shove my receipts in there. Uh, it's a lot easier to shove my receipts. So for me, this wallet is really good to keep in smaller purses uh, at home, mostly. Uh, so I would not choose this wallet if I were gonna travel. Um, I just, I like the longer wallets for travel a little bit better than I do this. All right, so this is a super, super quick video um, because I wanted to show you the Juliet wallet and kind of give you an update on the wear and tear. In terms of wear and tear, I'm gonna give it a score of a seven out of 10 um, because of those edges. Uh, I'm not, I don't feel like it's bad enough to bring into Louis Vuitton at the moment because like I said, the, there's no issue with the actual glazing itself. It just almost looks like, I don't know. I don't even know what to call it because it's almost plasticky. I don't know. I have a feeling it's part of the glazing, but I don't really know. Uh, so we'll just keep monitoring it to see how it does. Um, I do, uh, in terms of price point, I think it's honestly very pricey, but I think it's a very pricey wallet because of its components. To me, it's like having the Victorine wallet meets the Zippy coin purse. I used to own the Victorine wallet. I actually sold it. Um, and I'm glad I did because I don't, I don't know. I didn't really like the Victorine wallet. This wallet, I definitely like because of the components of the wallet. And if you're willing to spend that much, then you get the extra functionality of like a zippy coin inside your wallet. Uh, I would say if you can find this resale, I would do that. Um, if you don't want to pay full retail for it, um, maybe someone you know bought it and thought, well, it doesn't really work for me, so they decided to sell it. So you can always try to find this on the resale market. So far, I'm gonna keep it in my collection and I will continue using it. So I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please like give it a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, you should be. Uh, I hope to see you guys next week. Talk to you later.